I used to think that AI would replace developers. Like it, it was going to eventually happen. I remember strongly believing in that. I remember when I thought learning how to code would be pointless. Hence, honestly, why I stopped uploading videos for a couple months because I didn't want to motivate people and push people to learn code when I thought my, I myself would be replaced in a couple years. But I can honestly say I'm no longer worried about that. So here's what actually changed my mind. Let's first talk about what I got wrong. So with the growth of LLMs in the tech space, I remember thinking that faster code generation would mean fewer developer jobs. And I mean, when you look at Twitter, when you look at Reddit, when you look at YouTube, you see all these CEOs, not just any CEOs, tech CEOs of large companies with thousands and tens of thousands of employees working for them, saying that in six months, by the way, this was six months ago. He said in six months, AI will be writing 90% of our code. Six months later, it still didn't happen. I used to think that faster code generation meant fewer developer jobs, but it actually turns out that AI only replaced tasks, not developers. When you look at LLMs now and all these chatbots, prompting is cheap, but what's expensive? What's hard to find, especially in developer space is this thinking, AKA humans, humans that know the deep end to end parts of your code base of different systems who know how to debug, who have debugging intuition, trade-offs, who know why we should do something and not just because it's a hot thing right now, or just, just because everyone talks about it on Reddit or X and communication is king. That's the job of developer. So no, it's not speed equals replacement. It's more of like speed equals acceleration for developers who do the direct work on the code base for your apps, for your websites. You know what? One prime example is this app I was trying to build. So I was trying to build a semantic Q and A app and I was trying to run my, my Python file and it wouldn't run. And I was going crazy. I couldn't figure out why I remember asking, and this was ChatGPT for this use case, why is this not working? You can see my code. Let me know what's going on. ChatGPT kept trying to rewrite my app. And I'm like, why are you trying to rewrite this? I kept trying to rewrite it over and over again. And, and it couldn't figure it out. And I eventually figured it out. I'm already using port 8,000 when I tried to load this on my local host. I should have just used port 8001 or terminate whatever was using port 8000. And at that moment is when I realized, wait, I don't think AI is gonna replace me. I'm not really worried about AI anymore. I love AI because it makes my life way easier, way more productive than I should be, but I'm no longer worried about it after that. Next, let's talk about the reality of AI in the tech space. So I, I wanna actually read out this X post from Ahmad Massad, and this is what he said. He said, a public company CEO told me AI coding has had negligible impact on his engineering teams. Instead, the real transformation has been on their product and design teams using Replit. This is what a public company CEO told him. And then so he asked that CEO, how does he reconcile this with CEO saying that 20 to 50% of code is generated by AI? And that CEO said, that's also true in their case, AI does generate a lot of their code, but that whatever time saved in generating the code is lost back in debugging, reverting bugs and security audits. So if you measure time to ship, PRs merge or whatever high level metric, you don't see any impact at all whatsoever. What can we see from this? Number one, we don't see AI replacing us anytime soon. Number two, leaders are not firing junior developers. They need a pipeline. The senior developers can't do all the simple work just because AI can do it because AI can't do anything without a person, a human being prompting, telling AI what to do. AI is absolutely amazing. But I think the question isn't, will AI replace developers? I think the better question to ask is, which AI will actually make us better. So let me show you why my perspective has completely changed when it comes to AI and why I love AI more than ever, because it just makes my life so much easier as a developer. So I'm going to give the same tasks to two different LLMs. So we have ChatGPT browser on the left and we have Anthropics Cloud Code Terminal on the right. I'm going to give both of them the exact same tasks. So let's go over this real quick. So ChatGPT browser cannot see my code. So I unfortunately, uh, I just want to use this code. I unfortunately have to copy and paste this into here, right? So ChatGPT can't see my code, which is already a con right off the bat. And so I just want to show you how, how and why I use 
Claude code over ChatGPT now when it comes to specifically coding. So all right, I already copy and pasted my code into ChatGPT browser. And what I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to do is pretty much uh, add elapsed MS to the JSON output. And that's it. Okay, now I'm gonna hit enter here and let's see its response. All right, so I hit enter, let's wait for the response. Cool. Okay, this looks great, pretty quick too. So ChatGPT gave me perfectly good code. And then actually, if you look here, you actually see this one function call. And I, I think this pretty much looks perfect, right? So this is cool. Now that we have the code, I need to actually copy this entire block. I need to go back to my text editor and then I need to paste it in and test it and see if it works manually. That's like what, five steps just to see if it works. Now, let's look at the exact same thing when it comes to Anthropic's Claude code. So I'm gonna pretty much copy, I'm just gonna copy and paste it from here. And actually, before I paste that into here, I just need to make sure that Claude is running and you just type in Claude to do that. And I'm just gonna pretty much paste exactly what I typed in ChatGPT, but without the code this time, why? Because Claude code can see everything that's in my code base, which is freaking amazing to be honest. But I'm gonna add one thing, which is, in app.py because I, I want to tell it exactly where that code is. So let's see what happens here. Okay, so this is the difference between using Claude code versus just chat GPT in general. Claude code, as you can tell, is actually reading my files. And wait, it found something. It actually found an error. And what's that error? It couldn't find this. And so what does Claude code do? It says, let me search for the one shot function. Let me check if there's an import for one shot, search, etc. And then what does Cloud Code realize? All right, Chris, the import exists, but the file doesn't. So let me just create the one shot function that returns JSON with a lapped underscore MS for you. So what do we see here? Cloud's not just reporting the bug, but it created the entire missing file with the JSON output logic in a lapsed MS timing. And boom, here you go. This is exactly what it created. This is the CLI one shot Python file that it created. And now, rather than me copy and pasting the code, I can just literally hit enter and it does it for me, right? So that's why like, even when it comes to AI space, there are a lot of different tools out there. ChatGPT is definitely the most popular one. But when it comes to coding, I hands down generally believe that Claude is it. Like I actually literally canceled my ChatGPT Pro subscription because I prefer Claude. Now, how should you learn how to code in the world of AI? And I think, it's as simple as this. When you learn how to code, use AI, but learn with AI rather than just using it. Vibe coding is amazing, but it will not make you necessarily a better developer. For example, let's say you vibe coded something. Like I vibe coded a bunch of things, but if you don't know how to code, it will not make you a better developer. That's why when you are vibe coding, whenever you enter a prompt, you should ask that LLM to explain back to you why it works. What is the problem? Right? You can ask the model to explain the differences between going through this route versus another. What are the trade-offs? What if I, what's a wrong way to do this? So instead of just using AI to help you build something, you're using it to help you actually learn. But, but, okay, that does not mean that you still shouldn't learn code because you have AI writing it for you. No, you still need to learn and master the fundamentals. You should learn about HTTP and REST. You should learn about SQL, Git, JavaScript, TypeScript, testing, debugging. If you're a front-end developer, learn React, learn Next.js, whatever is in demand in your area or whatever job you're aiming for, learn that in the front-end development space. You have to learn it, you have to master it. That's how you keep your job, that's how you get a job in a tech space. But at the end of the day, it's all about learning new habits and building new habits. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I'll see y'all next one. Peace.